Hello and welcome to LabVIEW Advantage. Uh, my name is Ram Gurung. I'm a certified LabVIEW architect and a LabVIEW champion. I have uh, extended experience of training hundreds of students, scientists and engineers uh, to develop uh, LabVIEW applications and architectures and systems and improve their professional lives. Uh, so I have been successful to train at least one 45 CLDs and four CLAs. Uh, so uh, this is one another video on which I'll be discussing about how to improve your code. Uh, so how many of you actually uh, go through the pain of, uh, you know, uh, badly written code or very large code or uh, spaghetti code as we know in the West and uh, possibly a khichdi code in the India. So basically what do we mean by the spaghetti code is basically if you have not known the spaghetti code, spaghetti basically comes the word from Italy. Uh, it's a noodle uh, look alike uh, food uh, that basically in lab view we use a wires to connect different objects uh, to maintain the data flow and complete the code and everything. Uh, so if your wires are going all over the place and then now like after you complete your code after a while you do not know what is going on in your lab code and everything that is what we refer by the spaghetti code uh, so similarly uh, the khichdi code in india there is a dish a food uh, which uh, in which like uh, lots of different ingredients are uh, you know mixed together and everything in such a way that you will not notice uh, the contents of the food uh, so basically, if you end up in a code uh, that you do not know what is going on in the code that we are what we refer as a unmanageable, unreadable or the spaghetti code or the khichdi code. So whichever you want to say, a uh, spaghetti code is a very popular terminology in the industry. So how to overcome this? Uh, so one of the key reason is uh, if you follow the approach of code and fix method, then all you will always end up with a badly written code. So code and fix method basically means like uh, you don't have any strategy, you don't have any algorithm, you just open up the lab view block diagram and you start writing a code. It might, you might be successful in writing a very smaller code, but it will not be helpful in writing larger applications. Uh, so that is the main reason uh, you always have to have a strategy, you need to have the algorithm, and you have to always start with something called a design pattern. And uh, another thing is you have to always follow the clean as you go approach. That basically means whenever you write the VI and everything, label all the VIs, uh, clean them up, uh, create a sub VI whenever uh, it uh, looks uh, required. Uh, larger codes can be broken down and uh, reduced to the smaller code and everything. So these are the very, very important aspects of it. If you don't do it, it's going to be very hard to manage afterwards, not only for you, but the another terminology as well. And the another tip is follow the something called YANI recommended guidelines. YANI recommended guidelines are something that will keep the code into the standardization and not only you, if you are working in a team, it's very, very important that each of you follow the specified YANI recommended guidelines. So if you uh, like this video, I uh, re request you to like, comment and share on this video. And please comment below if you want to learn more about this. And if you want to improve your code of your own and your team, then you should purchase my manual called CLD Preparation Manual. It will not only help you to prepare for your CLD examination, but will also help you improving the quality of your code. And you will never have the spaghetti code. Okay.